Hello guys, I'm back. In a few hours, Kilian Jornet will attempt to break the world record on the number of kilometers or the farthest distance that a man can run in 24 hours. And that world record is being held by Yanis Koros and he finished 303.5 kilometers on October 4, 1997 in Adelaide, Australia in a novel track. He was really good. And if you convert that into miles, that is 190 miles. And he was able to make it with an average of 4.44 minutes. That is four minutes and 44 seconds in one kilometer. And if you translate that into miles, that is seven point or seven minutes and 38 seconds in every mile. For every lap on the, on the oval track, should be able to run one minute and 54 seconds. So that's what Yanis Koros did in 1997, and he was then 40 years old. Now we have Kilian Jornet, a Spaniard, by the way, uh, Yanis Kouros is from Greece and he is now an Australian citizen residing in Australia. And now we have a younger runner in the person of Kilian Jornet. He is a Spaniard, he is from Spain, and he is now residing in one of those mountainous towns or cities in Norway. So uh, he had been training for this he had a fast 10K in the past month. It was very good. It's very impressive. And in one of his Strava account uh, post, he was able to run for eight hours, a distance of 90 kilometers. So it was good, it was really good. And now he's going to attempt to run 24 hours and be able to break the 300 3.5 kilometer world record done by Yanis Koros. I had predicted in my Facebook account uh, post that he will not be able to break that world record. He could be the best mountain trail runner in the world right, right now, but running in an oval track following the IAU rules and regulations is a different monster in itself well I'm not an expert in that field I know how to run I can run endurance uh, races for six hours 12 hours and 24 hours but I was able to witness this world championships or uh, Asian championships here in the region and I can say that well there are four things that Kilian Jornet should be able to do and for the past days i was trying to research on how his team will be able to do this 24 hour endurance race but i don't don't see any strategy i don't see how he'll go going to deal with his nutrition i don't see how he will this deal with his gait or strides i don't see how he will be able to manage running on the oval track for 24 hours so personally there are four things that he has to consider first is his pace strategy is he going to run fast on the first 12 hours and then slowly on the last 12 uh, 12 hours or is he going to be very, very slow in the first 12 hours and then finish faster on the 12 hours or the third option is to run evenly for the duration of the 24 hours and making sure that be able to run more than one minute and 54 seconds per lap so which means that you should be running faster than that one minute and 54 seconds per lap the strategy also includes is he going to have a pacer for the whole duration? I 
I'm not sure because in world championships where you have to compete with other teams, you don't need any pacers, okay? How I wish Kilian Jornet will not be able to use any pacer within the duration of the 24 hour endurance race or endurance run. Second is nutrition. I'm not sure about their nutrition strategy. Is he going to take gels? Is he going to take solid foods? Well, I observe uh, in the Asian Championship, the best Asian uh, countries who are very good in 24 hour endurance races or runs are the Japanese. And I can see them, how they do it. And they usually eat solid food throughout the duration of the race or the run. So in nutrition, you include also your hydration. How many cups of water does it have to, to drink every lap? And the latest, latest, latest uh, event that I have observed, I have observed how Ivan uh, Lopez of Spain ran in that kind of event. And in, in, the, in one of the races or events that I have uh, joined or observed, he was able to finish 270 kilometers within the duration of 24 hours. And you know what I have observed? He drinks half cup, a small cup of water every lap and then eat one fourth of a sandwich with peanut butter in between bread. So <laughs> every lap he has to eat one fourth of a sandwich and drink a little water and that's it. He did that on the last 12 hours of the event where I have observed him. Number three is muscle endurance. I don't know how often will he change his direction on the oval track. Will it be every four hours? Will it be six hours? Will it be eight hours? Or will he will go straight 12 hours and then make the reverse for the last 12 hours and that's it. Well, of course, he's going to advertise a new shoes from Solomon, which is the Phantasm. And that is the one that they're going to advertise in that run with Kilian Journey. I don't know how often will he change his shoes? How often will he change the direction of his run? Those are all question mark. How far will, will Kilian Journey change his shoes, change his socks, change his attire, and so on and so forth? Of course, Norway is a, a very cold country, just the same with Adelaide, uh, Australia, when Yadis Koros did his own thing. So, uh, I think there will be lesser calories spent or perspiration spent on that event today in Kilian Joyner's attempt to break the world record. Number four, and the most important thing is your brain muscle or mental endurance so if it's running in the mountain there is no problem there is always a change in scenery there is always a change in elevation so what he sees around is ever changing but in an oval track the only time that you change the scenery is when you reverse your you do the reverse or change direction of what you're doing in the oval track and that's it and of course those uh, encouragement from your team or from the audience, those are the things that will perk or maybe motivate you to, to break the record. The most important thing in this kind of event is your brain. So you must be motivated, you must be daring, you must take all the risks, use your brain and be smart. Don't be hard-headed. If you think that you are not, you don't need any water, you have to force yourself to drink water. So, in summary, you have your basic strategy, 
pace is tragedy. You have your nutrition to include your hydration. And of course, your stomach is the second most important, second most important muscle in your body. And then you have your muscle endurance. And then the last, the most important muscle in your body for this kind of event is your brain. If we can do all those things, if Kilian can do all these things, okay, the four, four things that I want to, for him to consider, maybe he could break the world record. So in about three hours, we'll have the live feed of this event and we will see for the next 24 hours how Kilian journey will be able to accomplish this feat. Thank you. Salute.